I'm going up against another Demon Hunter. I'm doing about four to 500 damage a shot on my basic. They're doing two to 3,000 damage a shot on their basic. Um, when it says I died, I click Recommendations, and they say Upgrade, which leads me to believe that this is not balanced PvP. How pay to win is Diablo Immortal? And I want to demonstrate to you the phenomenon that's happening that is creating these whales that are, that are just going to destroy you in PvP and crush you on the PvE leaderboards. The way you get a Legendary Gem is by running a Crested Elder Rift. You can either plug Rare Crests or Legendary Crests. Legendary Crests for a free-to-play player are pretty much impossible to find but whales can buy them infinitely on the shop. A rift is like a loot box in this game? Yes, it is. There are three kinds of legendary gems in the game. One star, two star, and five star. One and two star are the crappy ones that all the free-to-play players will have, and the five star ones are the godly ones. The problem is, is when you plug rare crests in an elder rift, you cannot get a five star legendary gem. It is not possible for it to drop and it's a very low chance to drop on Legendary Crests. So, as a free-to-play player, you will get very few Legendary Crests, and therefore, you won't even have very many opportunities to even get these five-star gems to drop. The further layer of RNG is when the five-star Legendary Gem drops, it can drop with either two, three, four, or five of the stars actually filled in. So what you're really looking for is a 5-star, five 5-star five Legendary Gem. And the odds of that happening when you plug a Legendary Crest are like 1 in 2,000. So that's why when you inspect a whale and you see that they have a bunch of five, 4 5 5-star five five star Legendary Gems, you know that they're either Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates. So uh, why are the whales with these really powerful five-star legendary gems stronger than you? There's three different reasons. The first reason is the legendary gems themselves, when they're five stars, are way better, right? Just the powers of those gems are just way better. Some of them just detonate the whole room or shoot out a wolf or explode for massive damage, whereas the one-star legendary gems pretty much punch you in the face and you know, do nothing. So that's the first reason. The powers themselves are better. The second reason is the five-star legendary gems give you more combat rating. Combat rating is the number that is that everything is measured by in the game. The higher your combat rating, the higher difficulty that you can do, and the easier time you have in the game, the easier the challenge rifts are, the more damage you deal in PvP. Because they give you more combat rating, it is making them way stronger. And the third and final reason why is resonance. Five-star legendary gems give you way more resonance. Resonance magnifies your attributes, which are life and damage. So because they have way more resonance on them, their life and damage are magnified. So when you go against this whale in PvP, they're going to destroy you. One of my friends who is whaling, one of his five-star legendary gems has more resonance on it than my entire demon hunter. And my demon hunter as a pseudo free-to-play player is essentially as powerful as you can possibly be. So in summary, they have way better legendary powers, they have way higher combat rating, and they have way higher resonance, which magnifies their damage. While Diablo Immortal doesn't have a real money auction house in form, it sure does in function with multiple currencies that let you directly pay real money for power. I would say the game falls under the textbook definition of pay to win. You can spend money to make your character stronger, giving you an advantage over those who don't. An advantage in PvP, you'll have way more health and deal more damage, and in PvE, your better stats will let you push harder content. It's looking like money months or even years ahead of free to play players. With six gear slots, that means that these gems will grant 300% more life and damage 
to players who have them maxed out. This bonus applies to your character across all content types in PvP and in PvE. For about $100, you will get 45 Legendary Crest, so 45 guaranteed Legendary Gem drops. But even though you are certain to get a Legendary Gem, remember that there is still the star rating system that you'll be rolling the dice on, and you are hunting for those five-star gems. That is the top, that is the strongest, the most stat-enhancing item. If after 49 Legendary Crest Enhanced Elder Rift runs, you still have not gotten a five-star gem, you are guaranteed on run number 50 to get one. But remember, that $100 that you spent could only give you 45 Crest. What a shame. So it's going to be another $100 to get past that 50 Crest threshold needed to guarantee the five-star Legendary Gem. And as if these Legendary Gems, which drastically increase your damage and health and are gated by a low percent drop chance or guaranteed by spending money, but still made into a grind due to the star system, as if that wasn't enough, the gems themselves can also be upgraded. You will be feeding Legendary Gems into each other to increase their ranking, but also to level them up. And once at max level, a Legendary Gem can be used to awaken a piece of gear. Doing this adds sockets, letting you place additional gems in your Legendary Gems. So the gems have gems and the higher star rating your legendary gem has once leveled up and awakened in a piece of gear the more sockets you have available so the five star gems are going to have the most sockets and in those sockets you will be placing additional legendary gems which again the more stars those have the better your stats which all wraps back around to the difficulty of obtaining five star gems in the first place that's made a lot easier by spending loads of money as a free-to-play player you will be significantly lagging behind anyone who's spends money and not keeping up with those massive leaps in stats, those up to 300% bonuses and the extra bonuses from the awakening. This also plays into you getting bonuses and cooldown reduction and increased damage to various skills. You're just going to be behind and not keeping up with that means you're going to be outgeared and crushed in competitive PVP. It means you're going to lag behind severely in PVE progression. In fact, there will be content that without spending money, you'll just likely never ever see. But it's not just some money that you'll have to spend. It's loads of money. The current estimates from everything that I've seen is that you might have to spend upwards of six figures to max out all of your gems, awaken all of your gear, and then max out all of those slots in the awakened gear around six figures, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's the issue that I have with Diablo Immortal and other free-to-play games that use systems like this. Yeah, the pay to win as has it's completely ruined PvP. Everybody else is like eight and two, eight and one at the top, and this guy's twenty one and one. Dude, that that gem is so fucking good. It's so fucking good for PvP that roots me. I was gonna be fine. Even in the middle of four people, I was not gonna die. And then their legendary gem rooted me, and then I died. The way that you do this is basically you only have five buttons, okay, guys? So because you only have five buttons, there's not a lot of things you can do wrong. And I want to reemphasize kind of what that guy was saying is that you don't want to have the game be very skill-based because if it is, then you can have the whales. The worst thing to happen is if your whales, if your whales feel like losers, you always want your whales to be able to win. It's only the beta? No, this is the full release. 12 and 0. Rank 4, Chip of the Stone of Fresh. 10 Trick Shot Gem. 5 Blessing of the Worthy. Blood Soaked Jade. Bottled Hope. And Zwenson's Haunting. I can't upgrade this one either. Oh, I should use one of these. And then, oh, wait a second. So I have to level up other gems? Just to level up one of my gems? What the fuck? So I have to upgrade this one. And then I do that. And then I upgrade it. So I did, I have to salvage all of these. Should I do that? I salvage all of these. 
Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. And then I'll upgrade it again. And now I have a rank three. So wait a second, now I have to go back to this one. And then... Oh my god. Battleground captain, battleground. Find match. Wait, it's closed. What? You can only PvP from 6 to 8 p.m.? There's no way that's true, right? Like, I mean, that that's obviously bullshit, isn't it? Like, I mean, that, that's gotta be bullshit. PvP is only for two hours at a time. I went into this thinking that it was like other PvP games where we're all evenly matched and it, it comes down to the skill, maybe the cooperation tactics, knowing the meta and stuff like that, and I guess not falling through the map. Oh boy, what the... There's a lot of guys coming in. Oh my god, seriously. What? Okay. Fuck this. That's actually a joke, right? They have, they have only seven lives. And they, they throw me through the ground twice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I apologize for my associate. Hi, whale man. My God! Wait, I I literally can't even attack the fucking mobs without even fucking glitching the through the fucking floor, bro. What what is this dog shit game, bro? I actually can't complete my quest. <laughs> I spent sixteen thousand dollars on this goddamn dog shit ass game, bro. Like holy fuck! Okay, so wait. If I I'm guessing it seems 772 seems pretty good to me. Yeah, I mean 72 Shit guys, that's great Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, that that's that's about it. Yo user score. Oh, oh I mean those are just haters. I mean you don't listen to them. You have to listen to the professional uh, the professional video game players. Okay guys Come on, let me let me move. Let me let let me move. Thank you. How cool. nice the game game runs me the wrong way. So you, you can buy a currency, right? As you can see, I reloaded five hundred dollars. Like I said, that currency you would use it to buy these legendary crests, right? So I, I can go like this, right? Now I can use all ten of these at once in one of those legendary rifts. They basically got around loot boxes. It's incredibly smart. Because this is a loot box. Every time I do this, I just bought 10 rolls of a loot box. But it doesn't look like a loot box. It looks like a fixed currency. And you use the fixed currency to go into a run. And then the run has drops. And the drops are guaranteed. But don't get it twisted. It is a loot box that you have to play. It's, it is a 10 pool in a gacha game. But they got around having the loot box. It's, it is a playable loot box. You can unlimited buy these, but you can only spend 10 at a time. So you technically can only spend the money every like two minutes, right? It takes about two minutes to do one of these. But what they did was they figured out a way to get around having a loot box. These are going to get me the legendary gems, which are the most powerful thing in the game. And you cannot get them without these legendary crests. Clearly the enemy of, of the public. These games are elaborately designed slot machines that are obfuscated by having demonic models attached to them. That's all they are. What I found to be so fucking funny, bro, is like you had these guys and they were like, I'm a free to play player in Diablo Immortal. And I watched them queuing into PvP getting absolutely fucking demolished. Like I'm talking about getting their dick like biting their dick off and then making them eat their own dick 
it's just destroyed. It's like, how low does your ego and self-respect have to be that you will let yourself be farmed by whales playing a game 18 hours a day? How low is your self-respect that you let that happen? I'm, I think I'm considering not playing this game anymore. This game, this game is ruined. This is why I wanted to play was for PvP. But uh, can't even do that anymore.